you know, I wasn't even in a video making mood tonight, but I just had to make a video, man, because I'm just going to speak what's on my mind, and I don't care who likes or don't, who, or who doesn't like it, man. This is my channel. I talk about what I want to talk about. It's my freedom of speech. I really don't even listen to what people got to tell me anymore. I don't listen to people's advice anymore because people's advice doesn't mean crap. And the reason why I say that is because, you know, some, you know, somebody else told me, oh, you just got to be patient. You just got to wait. Oh, yeah, I'm going to yeah, I'm going to be waiting for the rest of my life. That's the worst advice to give somebody is tell somebody to wait. They're going to be waiting for the rest of their life. And you know that they sh they struggle. You know that they have a hard time attracting somebody to opposite sex. And you're going to tell them to wait. What kind of crappy advice is that? You know, I already knew, you know, you know, when I, when I, you know, when I hit puberty, you know, when guys hit puberty, we start liking girls and we start, you know, we start feeling sexually attracted to them and all that stuff. I already knew I was going to have it harder than everybody else. I already knew it from the beginning, man. Some just told me, you know, I just really feel, you know, that, you know, some guys have it and some guys don't have it, man. I just, I just really feel that you know romantic love is meant for some guys and romantic love is not it, you know it's not meant for some guys i mean it is what it is man you know if you're just you know if you're a guy out there you know you don't have that hood type of attitude you're not a thug you don't walk around with your pants all sagging and all that stuff you know you're just a, a good guy a good respectful guy you know who was raised to just treat anybody right treat any, treat anybody right you know with the with the you know with the utmost respect with the utmost respect excuse me I just really feel, you know, guys like that, you know, we were just meant to fail, man. We were just meant to be failures. We were, we were meant to be losers. And we were meant to be rejects when it comes to the dating scene, man. That's just how it is for us, man. And it's backwards. I not, and I've said that time and time and time again on my videos, man. That it's backwards. The dating scene is backwards, man. I blame his rap music, man. Brain it has brainwashed, you know, a lot of women to thinking that you know that rap music, that rap music is okay, man. That that thug life is cool, and that thug life is not cool. You know, I'm just that. You know, I just you know, it's really come to the point. There, where, you know, no matter how hard I try, no matter how hard I try, you know, to, you know, just to find somebody to like, just to find a woman to like me for who I am and accept me for who I am, you know, I just really know that, you know, I was just meant to be a reject. You know, I, I was just, you know, I was just meant to be a failure. You know, I was just meant to be a loser, man. I mean... I mean that's just how it is for me, man. And I, and no woman, and no woman wants to go out on a date a loser, man. No woman wants to do that. Why would a woman want to date a loser like me? I'm just a loser, man. I mean, I'm just being honest with myself, man. You know, if I'm a loser, then I'm a loser. You know, you know, no matter how hard you try, man, you just, you just, you, you just can, you just always fail, man. You know, no matter how hard you try, you know, I know I appreciate people doing the best they can to help me, man. But it's just, you know, I'm just, you know, it just nothing seems to be working, man. Nobody's advice, you know, seems to be working, man. No matter, you know, no matter how hard I try, just people's advice doesn't seem to be working, man. And rejection, man, rejection could really cause low self-esteem and rejection could really tear a guy down mentally, man. Rejection can cause depression. It can. It really caused me to feel bad about myself. Me constantly being rejected by the opposite sex because I'm at the age where I want to date. You know what I'm saying? I want to date. I, you know, I started liking women. I'm, you know, I'm attracted to women. I'm at the age where I want to date. You see what I'm saying? But once you, once you can't have that, man, it, it, it could be very frustrating for a man. It's very frustrating for a man.
And I really don't even I really don't even listen to what people gotta tell me anymore, man. Cause people gonna feed you a whole bunch of crap. And people, you know, I was having a conversation with my dad. You know, he was telling me, oh, oh, son, the reason why you can't attract women is because you ain't have confidence. You know, and confidence doesn't mean anything. I, I'm sick of people telling me that crap. That I don't have confidence. You can have all the confidence in the world and you'll still be by yourself. You can have all the self-esteem in the world and you can still be by yourself. What part of that don't people don't understand? Confidence doesn't mean anything, man. The more people say that, the more pissed off I get. And I don't care if it's family or not. When people tell me that crap, I get pissed off. Because it's the truth. It doesn't mean anything. And I really asked this question. Why did the why did why did why did God make me a loser? Why did God make me the way I am? To fail. To be rejected by other people. Why did God make me this way? Just a loser, man. That's all I am is a loser. L-O-S-E-R. Loser! With three exclamation marks. Loser! Reject! It's very frustrating, man, for a guy out there, you know, you're, you know, when you come at the age, you start liking women, you feel, you, you start being attracted to women, and you constantly get rejected. You know, you're so terrified of getting rejected like I am. I'm just venting in this video, man. Don't Please don't take this video out of context. Any stupid idiot who takes this video out of context, I'm telling you right now, please don't take this video out of context. I'm just coming up on here venting, all right? That's all I'm doing. I'm venting, and it's my freedom of speech, all right? I'm not threatening or harming anybody else. I'm just up here venting, all right? You know, when a guy comes to the age, you know, when he starts liking women, feeling attracted to him and all that stuff, you know, you call, you're so terrified of women rejecting you, man. It could be very, it could make a guy very angry. It could cause him to have low self-esteem and it could really tear a man down. And, that, and that's what happened to me. That's exactly what happened to me. You know, ever since... After puberty, after I went through puberty and all that stuff, I always have been so terrified of rejection. I've been so terrified of women rejecting me. Because I'm not going to go out there and get embarrassed by a whole bunch of people. And they do it on purpose. Women reject men on purpose in mean ways. I was just meant just to be a big, huge failure. I was meant to be a reject. I, you know, I just don't stand a chance, man. No matter how hard I try, I just don't stand a chance. Never did stand a chance with anybody, man. Never did stood a chance. Some guys, some guys could just, some guys could get somebody like a snap of a finger 
And you know, some and, and people. You know, people and people like to and people like to leave stupid comments to say, "Oh, it's not that hard. It's not that hard to find a girlfriend. It's easy to find a girlfriend." What? What the heck are you been smoking? It's very hard to find somebody that you have a lot in common with that you can relate to. It's very hard to find somebody who will like you for who you are, who will accept you for who you are. And, and they want to, and they, and they want to tell you, you know, it's not that, you know, it's not that hard, man. It's it's kind of easy. It ain't that easy. It ain't that easy. That's the hardest thing that a guy can get. It's it's a woman to like him for who he is and accept him for who he is. That's very difficult. It's the most difficult thing. It's difficult. It ain't it ain't easy, it's hard. Who can stop stop wanting like a little you know what? Well get off my channel Will you want me to hold all this stuff in? I have feelings! That's why I'm making this feel because I have feelings and I have emotions! I'm not a robot! I'm a human being just like you! That's why I make these YouTube videos venting. Tell me to stop whining and complaining. It's my YouTube channel. I talk about what I want to talk about. If you don't like it, then you unsub you'll sub for my channel. I didn't ask you to watch my videos anyway. I don't like to use the term nice guy, but I'm going to have to use it right here. Nice guys finish last, and I finish last, and I will finish last for the rest of my life. Because true romantic love is not meant for me. No matter how hard I try. I keep fighting. I try to get to the top, but I keep getting pushed right back down. That's all I gotta say in this video. I can't say nothing else. I need. I'm, I'm gonna go in the house and I'm, I'm gonna chill out. I need. To, I need to rest. I'm, it's hot in this car. Me doing all this yelling and stuff. I need. I'm, I'm gonna go and take a cold shower, and I'm gonna rest and go to bed. But that's all I gotta say in this video. I can't really say nothing else. I'm already losing my voice. Thank you all for watching.